It's a pleasure to be here today. I'm Laurie Delmer, I'm uh, representing Blumeria. Blumeria is an organization um, to help communities safeguard green areas. And today I'm going to, uh, to, to tell you how um, can companies bring uh, more transparency and highlight their ESG efforts uh, through blockchain. So when I, I'm talking about ESG, I'm speaking about uh, environmental, uh, social and governance aspects, and I'm going to focus on environmental aspects here. So first, the problem. Um, you all know that we have a problem regarding biodiversity loss, climate change. Uh, there's also the fact that communities and uh, environmental organizations are facing some problems regarding funding, uh, especially they, they are trying to, f to find some funding, uh, some new kind of funding, and especially funding with low administrative burden, because lots of people um, in those organizations would like to spend more time on developing uh, environmental aspects, and instead they're spending a lot of time uh, regarding um, activity uh, and financial reports. And then, at the same time, you have companies that uh, try to be more active and transparent about their uh, environmental friendly action, environmentally friendly action. So, at Bloom Area, we uh, want to bring some solutions uh, regarding this uh, situation. Uh, first, we help fund um, reforestation and conservation projects, uh, meaning that we are working with uh, environmental organizations. Uh, and fund their, their projects. Then we, uh, we want to connect environmental organizations with uh, companies willing to uh, fund meaningful projects. And uh, then we help companies uh, prove their ESG commitments through blockchain technology. So we are using blockchain technology and more especially Polygon blockchain. Uh, but why Polygon especially? because uh, first it improves the speed, uh, the scalability, and reduces t the cost. So um, to keep it simple, you could say that you can make a lot of transactions uh, at the same time at a very, very low cost. And then secondly, um, it's uh, an environmentally friendly consensus algorithm, um, meaning that um, you don't need to burn energy to, um, it doesn't need to burn energy to operate. Um, and that's why many companies are using Polygon blockchain uh, for their projects. Recently, Nike uh, declares that they, uh, they're using Polygon blockchain because this blockchain aims to be a carbon neutral this year. So here yeah, I have a, a small video to play uh, in background. Uh, it's, um, so uh, I told you earlier that we're working with environmental organizations. And um, this is our first partnership. It's with RM Terra. This is a Portuguese organization. Uh, they exist since 2017. They, um, they started to, um, to plant trees after big fires happened. In their, um, in, in their region. And uh, we're working with them because um, they plant trees using uh, food forest principles, uh, meaning that the, food, the, the forest they're planting bring food to, um, to their community, to the people. Uh, this is a great team of um, professional forestry consultants, technicians, planters, uh, leaders, designers. And with them, we, uh, we have partnerships to plant trees, meaning that for each tree they have uh, planted with us, uh, we create a digital certificate. And in this digital certificate, there, uh, we, we uh, put um, several informations. Uh, information. Um, for example, uh, we ordered the, the information regarding the, the planting, so information about the tree, the day they were planted, uh, GPS coordinates, pictures, but also um, voting rights, because we want to uh, involve people um, that are supporting their projects into this project. Uh, it means that people funding um, 
Eremtera with us uh, will be able to uh, give their opinion about this project uh, and then um, vote on some proposals, but also for Blue Maria proposals. Our second partnership is with Tribes and Nature Defenders. Uh, this is um, uh, an organization based in the Philippines. Um, they exist since 2007, and it uh, has been created by uh, a tribe willing to uh, safeguard and protect their sacred forests. Uh, the, the partnership we, ha we have with them is uh, concern um, 200 hectares, and for, um, for each hectare that is uh, funded, uh, we create a digital certificate also with uh, all the necessary information regarding the, this area, plus legal uh, document regarding the, um, uh, the, the purchase of this area. And one important thing here uh, is that we, the people that are funding uh, the, the, the project, so companies, people, organization, uh, so th this, um, they are not um, the owner of uh, trees, the owner of uh, the, the, the areas. Um, so, so this is an important point. The um, uh, environmental organization uh, is still the owner of uh, the, the project they uh, are developing. But now, so how does it work uh, concretely? So the starting point is the fact that uh, public blockchain is a perfect tool to, um, to prove statements uh, from organizations or individual. So for example, a company can prove that its sustainability efforts are not just greenwashing, and uh, we can prove at Primaria that our uh, trees, uh, our green areas are um, indeed a uh, real uh, project that all digital certificates are backed by real trees or areas. And why? Because we don't ask you to, to trust us. You can just verify, uh, have a look on the blockchain, and uh, uh, thanks to all the da data there, uh, you, um, you have all the information. So you know now that our mission is to finance impactful projects that will uh, remove carbon from uh, the atmosphere, boost uh, or safeguard biodiversity, uh, while we ensure that um, all the aspects of um, brown area is completely auditable, uh, transparent. And it's the same for a company. Um, so if a company buys its own public domain, uh, like, for example, company.f. Um, so instead of a, um, of a series of numbers, you can just put the name of your company.f uh, to, to make it more um, uh, easy for uh, customers uh, to, to find you. Um, so it's uh, very easy for anyone to, to check uh, your, your action on the blockchain. This is an example of what you, uh, you can see. Uh, this is an example of a transaction of a public certificate from uh, an address to the other. And you can see it's not very easy to share, to, to talk about to your customer. Um, and that's why we uh, wanted to answer this situation and uh, we have developed uh, a product. So first, um, we help companies set up their profile on the blockchain. So uh, we uh, help them create their public domain on the blockchain. Then companies can choose the project they would like to support. Concretely, uh, the company um, finance supports uh, an environmental project in dollars, in euro. We at Blue Maria um, convert this money into um, cryptocurrencies. Um, and send them to the uh, project orders. And in return, the company receives digital certificates with all the information I told, uh, talked to you about, uh, all the information regarding the project, the governance, voting rights, and so on. And as a result, as the company has these um, digital certificates, um, it can use the uh, company's page profile uh, so it, anyone can uh, enter just the polygon address, uh, the beginning of the page, and then all the information embed in the 
uh, digital certificates will be displayed on, on this page. So um, all the, uh, the projects that have been funded, uh, all pictures, um, GPS coordinates, maps with uh, uh, where are the trees, where are the, the, the green areas. Uh, so regarding our competitive advantage, first so, um, we are uh, first to, um, to to use blockchain technology to display and to prove uh, environmental initiatives, and then this is uh, important to th to say that people having a look or um, uh, checking on the company's page profile don't have to be uh, ex uh, blockchain experts to. Uh, to, to access this information, to just enter uh, the public domain or the polygon address, and, and that's it. They don't have to log on or, or know anything about blockchain to, uh, to check the um, uh, company's actions. Uh, transparency, we're bringing transparency um, uh, regarding uh, all um, environmental uh, commitments uh, of companies because uh, these actions are written on the blockchain forever, as you know. And we're also bring, bringing uh, trans participatory governance um, in this um, because employees of a company can also involve themselves uh, into the, 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 the governance of uh, projects their company have been financing, but also in Bromay as governance. So uh, employees can uh, um, give their opinion about a, a project uh, their company has been financed, for example. So this is us, uh, this is the Blanc-Mayas team. I'm Lori, I'm working with uh, Alice, who's a biologist, and Thibault, who's uh, our blockchain engineer, is here today with us. And we would be happy to answer your question and uh, give you more details about the, um, the, the product we have uh, developed in the, at the watching desk, for example, or uh, during the break. Don't hesitate to have a look at our website, follow us on Twitter, or uh, send us uh, an email to have more information also. Thank you.